So what is going on guys? Something that I've been trying or thinking about doing for quite some time, uh, which is pretty much, as the title says, making center cap stickers for your wheels. I've been trying to do this for some time um, because I see like aftermarket wheels all the time have like crazy cool like center caps and I want to try them with my wheels and I'm kind of just tired of it just being silver. So what I did was I took measurements of the center cap itself. Um, it has like a little lip on the outside. I took it from the inside because I don't want to cover up the little lip. Um, so I took it from the inside uh, one corner to the other side of the little center cap. And uh, what I got was two inches and three sixteenths, I believe, which once you convert three sixteenths, um, it should be about two point or yeah, it should be like two point one eight seven five, I believe, or something like that. Um, but <clears throat> I'll show you guys right here on the computer. All right, so on the computer, basically what I input is all I went on here. I made a circle. It doesn't really matter how the circle looks at first because you're going to have to adjust the width and the height of the circle, which will make it, you know, once you have the width, uh, let's say to two and the height at two, it'll make a perfect circle. So um, pretty much I put it in as 2.187. Uh, it doesn't give you the option to put in another number. So I just went ahead and went with 2.187 because 2.1875 would have been just slightly too big. Um, I'm compensating here for the little metal part that the uh, that the tape measure has. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's gonna be either a little too big or perfect. So uh, basically, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go over here to the side, and like I said, get the circle tool, draw it a little circle, put input what size you want to put this as or make it as, and then uh, yeah. So once you get that then there's your circle. Now what I want to do with this is pretty much do something different. So they're Whistler wheels. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and find a cool font and uh, try to find, uh, I don't know, like a cool W to put in the middle and I'll just leave it as that. And then we'll do some crea uh, creative little inlays um, with the vinyl. So um, I'll go ahead and do that and uh, I'll show you guys how it comes out. This is the uh, font I think I'm going to be going with on the W. It is called Yananeska. I guess that's that's it. This is what I'm digging right here. And basically what I was going to be doing is making the um, actual uh, circle, the part that covers up the um, center cap, uh, making that red and then the inlay would be white. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, test fit one of them and if it works then i'll go ahead and make all of them that way so um yeah go ahead and try to do that right now all right guys so this is the material that i'm going to be using it is like this red carbon fiber uh material um it's a vinyl it's pretty thick it's a lot thicker than something like oracle and stuff like that i got this vinyl for free um with an order of i believe transfer paper or something like that so i don't i don't use this vinyl often um i just got a couple sheets for free like i said uh so i'm gonna go ahead and do some testing with it um but it is pretty thick so i'm not really sure how this cutter is gonna deal with something this thick um, so I have it set to seven my auto ratchets broken so I kind of have to manually do it um, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and put that to seven and then hook it up to the cutter hopefully it cuts fine <laughs> see if it cut and the answer is no <laughs> it did not cut all right so for whatever reason as you guys can see the it just doesn't want to cut through the through this vinyl I'm pretty sure it's just my blade that's messed up um, but I'm not exactly too sure uh, actually I might go ahead and try to double pass um, on the design which I'll try it uh, yeah, I'll probably try that next. All right, so 
Um, the double pass ended up working. I used it on 10, which might have been a little overkill. I probably could have put the blade at a 9, did double pass, and it would have been fine. It fits like a glove. I do have to put that underlay part in the middle, but uh, I was just doing this for testing purposes. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make all four of them and then show you guys how to make the underlay. The, all right, so I'm back to the computer, and what I'm gonna do now is go down here to the where is it? Uh, the replicate panel right here. Click on that, and then I'm going to make a row of these, just like that. And then I probably might want to space these out a little bit because they put some kind of close. So just space them out a little bit, and uh, then we can go ahead and cut all of them I'm gonna go ahead and do the double pass again and uh, they should come out pretty good so hopefully that works so there we have all four of the center cap logos in that carbon fiber look so now all right so I found that I have some spare um, 3m vinyl I'm not sure if you guys can tell that it's reflective or not probably not but uh, let me show you what white looks like next to this. So here's the reflective, as you can see that rainbow look on it. And then here's the white. I'm not really sure how I wanna go about it, to be honest. I think the reflective look really cool when you take pictures and stuff, or it could be super annoying. I'm not really sure. It might look cool. I think, I think I'm gonna try it, I think I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna go with the reflective. And uh, yeah, I only have this little bit, so hopefully I can somehow source enough materials to where I can fill in all of the circles. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on there and make uh, make little dimes, little, little like quarter sized circles that pretty much fill this in. And uh, hopefully I should have enough um, if I spread this out correctly and I measure well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try that out. Hopefully that works. And if it does, I'll show you guys. So I got these circles all cut out and basically I did this one already. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be peeling this up and off and putting this underneath it, putting this right back on top. And then uh, you're pretty much set. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of these and then we'll see how they look on the car. So yeah. All right, guys, so it's the next day, and I didn't end up putting the stickers on the center caps uh, yesterday only because it was raining and it started pour, and uh, yeah, I just didn't want to deal with any of that yesterday. So what I'm going to do today is pretty much take off the center caps on all the wheels because I just think it'd be a lot easier to um, put the stickers on the center caps and make sure that they're aligned perfectly once the center cap is off of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off all the center caps and then I'm gonna go ahead and get use uh, rubbing alcohol and just um, clean up all the edges and whatnot on the face of the center cap so that it has a clean um, area to stick to. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of those off right now, then we'll go back to my room and uh, I'll put all those back on. Alright guys, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and wipe the, each one of these down with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and uh, just get the surface clean so that the stickers can stick onto them. Super simple touch, but it looks so good. Matches my brake calipers, besides the whole 3M thing, but it looks so good. Excuse the super dirty car. It's been raining like every day here in Florida.
So that pretty much does it for us guys. Uh, that's how you would make some center cap decals for your wheels. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up, um, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, do whatever. But please show some love. Um, and uh, again guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.